you guys so i've been getting some questions that are pretty simple and basic questions which got me thinking that maybe i should do like a get to know me and answer a bunch of questions but i don't want this to be like boring and long answers so i just figured i would do rapid fire questions and just answer as quickly as possible but i'm going to be interviewing myself because i'm currently home alone like my sister's not here otherwise i would just have her ask me the questions instead of me interviewing myself but obviously that's not gonna work so yes anyways i'm gonna start i guess asking myself questions and answering them okay so the first question is what is your favorite month august because i'm a leo what is your favorite season summer but winter for clothes but summer for the sun obviously what is your favorite animal a lion obviously that corresponds with the whole leo thing uh what is your favorite color i'm gonna go for blue who do you text most my sister where did you go last on vacation las vegas i believe yeah las vegas what is your go-to pastime editing youtube videos what was your favorite subject in school um i think when i was little it used to be like math but as i got older it was english and chemistry what was your least favorite subject in school always history where did you grow up i grew up in la and palm beach i kind of switched between the two what is your favorite breakfast bagels if you had to change your first name what would you change it to i like my name and i really don't know what else i would be called so i'm just gonna say mckenna what is your favorite type of weather like cool and sunny what time do you usually wake up in the morning 8 to 9 30 it just depends what i'm doing like if i'm going out it's gonna be later than that. What time do you usually go to bed at night? I would say like 12.30 is probably my average. What is your favorite type of music? Lana Del Rey. I'm classifying her as a type of music, so yeah. Who is your best friend? My sister is my best friend. Describe your style in one word. I hope chic. What kind of landscape would you like to live in? Definitely a city, but not New York, cause I just can't. There's just way too much happening. So maybe LA. What were you afraid of as a child? Birds as in like the flying rats in the sky, and I'm still afraid of them, so. What has been your favorite age so far? That's a good one. I think 17, yeah. What is your go-to lazy dinner, like a salad? What was your major in college? Well, I'm still in college, but it's film. Okay, have you ever written a song for someone? Um, not quite, no. What dish do you cook best? Low-key fried rice? Like, why is it so good? I don't know. What is your hidden talent? I don't know if it's a talent, but if you like show me a license plate or tell me to like remember a phone number, I I just remember it. And then I never forget it. It kind of feels like a waste of brain power to like have all these stored numbers. Like, do I need to know that? No. Who is your favorite Disney character? Cinderella. What is your favorite way to work out? My only way to work out is running. That's the only thing I like to do. Where would you prefer to go on a first date? Well, I would say a restaurant is probably the best bet. Okay, these are yes or no questions. Um, do you have pets? No. Do you have kids? No. Are you married? No. Do you have siblings? Yes. Have you ever lived abroad? Yes. Have you ever traveled abroad? Yes. Are you active on social media? Yes. Do you enjoy running? Yes. Would you ever try stand-up comedy? I don't think so. I mean, like, I wouldn't say I would never try it, but I don't think that's like my forte. Do you think you could win a game show? Mm hmm Yeah. Have you ever moved across the country? Yes. Do you speak more than one language? Yes. I don't want to say fully, but I'm like almost fluent in Spanish. Do you consider yourself tech savvy? I do. Do you enjoy performing in front of an audience? I don't know. Like if I'm good at what I'm doing, yes. But then again, what could I perform? Because I can't sing. But you know what? If I had a good voice, like I would be... I would be on that stage. Do you believe in ghosts? Like spirits maybe, but not like a physical ghost right there, you know? Have you ever delivered a perfect comeback? Probably, I'm gonna give that to myself, maybe, but I'm not that sassy, so I don't know. Are you in the profession you dreamed of when you were a child? I wanted to be a doctor, specifically a pediatrician, and I'm definitely not on that route because I no longer wanna do that, so I guess not. Would your 12 year old self think you were cool? I mean, I think, I feel like my 12 year old self was cooler than I am now. So I'm not sure if my 12 year old self would be like, oh, you got less cool. Would you ever skydive? Absolutely not. There, that is like the last thing I would ever do. Do you like clothes shopping? Obviously. Do you think you would make a good spy? Honestly, I kind of think I would because I hear 
everything like i don't know how but i just hear everything you know so maybe do you have any tattoos i do not cats or dogs dogs summer or winter summer morning or evening morning i don't know why but morning salty or sweet salty are you more of an introvert or an extrovert i would say i'm an extrovert do you kill bugs you find inside or take them outside if you think that i'm gonna like somehow catch a fly and like capture it in a cup and then like let it loose instead of grabbing my pink fly swatter obviously i'm grabbing the fly swatter so i definitely kill them learn by watching or learn by doing definitely by doing would you rather sleep in late or take a long nap i can't nap so sleep in late which celebrity annoys you the most oh obviously andrew tate what stranger do you still think about sometimes I can't tell you exactly the details, but there was this guy who I really just connected with. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good of a driver are you? Don't have my license. So as of now, a 1. Okay, first celebrity crush. Definitely One Direction, but specifically Niall. Favorite childhood TV show, Dance Moms. Last Halloween costume, I think Cinderella. Favorite number, 3. Are lifeguards attractive? I... I think so. What is the most unusual thing you've ever touched? I I touched a moth dragonfly thing the other day. It came out of the elevator, so I was trying to like swat it away, but clearly its brain cells weren't working, so it was flying into me and it like touched me. So yeah. Are you the drama? Like maybe. I don't think I am actually. Maybe life would be more interesting if I was, but I'm just not. I'm just there listening to the drama. Which celebrity do you look like? Obviously everyone says Sabrina Carpenter. Is it safe to talk to when you first wake up? No, it's really not safe. Literally everyone knows like stay away for at least 10 minutes. What is the wildest thing you've done on vacation? These are getting a little bit frisky. What is the most embarrassing piece of clothing you have in your closet? I have a shirt that says Verbatim, thank God for punk rock. That's all I'm gonna say, so. If you could travel the world with one celebrity, who would it be? Obviously, Lana Del Rey. Window or aisle seat? 100% aisle seat. Leather or lace? I think leather. Diamonds or pearls? Diamonds. How do you start your day? I look at my phone the second I wake up. Like, I'm not gonna deny that. And I just make sure that no one has like texted me. Like, I don't go on like social media or anything. I just make sure like no important emails or anything like that. And then I get coffee and then I relax for a little bit and then I work out. If you could raid one woman's closet, who would it be? I think I would raid Morgan Stewart's closet. Okay, I'm gonna answer just a couple of more. What's your favorite movie of the last five years? Beautiful boy. What's your favorite thing in the world? My sister. She's probably gonna be tearing up as she watches this. What job would you be absolutely horrible at? being a lawyer like fighting with someone would be the worst job possible because i'm just like okay like i don't care like it's fine <laughs> you know what i mean who did you kiss last that's one secret i'll never tell xoxo gossip girl what do you think of when i say fruit watermelon <laughs> i don't know why what is the best thing about your college i think my friends what is your favorite tv show of all time i think well gossip girl but i'm trying to be less basic so money heist is second favorite what is the first country you ever visited? The first country I ever visited was China, actually. I think I was three or four. Do you think friends are for life? I do. What is your favorite feature of someone? I think smiles. Do you find tattoos hot? I do not find them hot, but then again, you're allowed to do whatever the hell you want. So do you like hot tubs? Eh. Which superpower would you want? I would want to be able to teleport because I could just go from college to home in like half a second. For like two hours say hi to everyone go back that sounds awesome how do you overcome your fears i don't no i'm just kidding but i will never not be scared of birds so technically i'm never overcoming that fear i've tried it's just not gonna happen okay i think that concludes that little get to know me game because i feel like i answered a ton of questions but hopefully that was informative so yes thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys soon Hey guys, so I just got ready for the day and the night, I guess. I'm going to an event that James Purse is hosting. They're doing this like huge sample sale. My sister works with James Purse, so she's obviously already gonna be there, as well as a couple of our other friends. So it's just gonna be so much fun. And then we're all gonna go to dinner at The Rose in Venice. So yes, let me show you guys my outfit and then I will see you guys there.
guys, so I just got ready for the night. I'm leaving to go to the Tower Bar in West Hollywood for dinner. It's 8 p.m. right now, and I'm going with my sister Avery and our friend Helen, and we're so excited. It's gonna be so fun, but I do need to get my stuff and leave. So, I will see you guys there. I need a surprise for Avery. Look at this Sunday. It's my birthday. Helen said it's Avery's birthday. It's something on her birthday. Oh, my God. It's like so not her birthday, you guys. I don't know what just happened. Hey guys, so I just got ready for the night. I'm going to my friend Shira's house and then Shira, Sophia, and I are going to Sophia's house. And then we're going to dinner at a restaurant called Casablanca with a couple of other girls as well. And then we're all going out. So I definitely have a long night ahead of me, but I have a feeling it's gonna be really fun. So I'm leaving right now, but I will take you guys along for the night. Can I see your outfit of the night? So <laughs> my pants are old Randy. They used to be a lot looser. My socks are Under Armour. <laughs> my shoes are Manolo's. And my shirt's from Berkeley. Cute. Okay, woman, it's done. Welcome to my makeup routine. Thumbnail. So, I just used my Rare Beauty Primer and I kind of burnt my eyebrows when I walked some today, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. I forgot to, did you like introduce? She's doing my get name? ready with me? No, like did you like tell them? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's just doing her makeup. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. His contour. Wait, I can't sit next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Try your best, but you don't succeed. I'm already ready for the night, but let's be honest. Whoa. Using a little bit of freck blush. I like to do my makeup on a lot of different layers. There's something out. So yeah, I'm really into the ox right now. I said I'm really into your ox right now. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> I'm trying to bring my blush like all the way up to my temples. So don't even attempt to like cover all my temples. I put concealer on. No, same, but like. What What else do you do? What else would you do? I don't know. Like cake it up? Yeah, like some people get like really shy about it. Yeah. I mean, you can see longer. I would actually find myself like wake up in the morning like, what up, y'all? I just want to. You would be like. Pan of Mondo. Like, and Emma Chamberlain, but like. Yeah, but like maybe I'd be classy sometimes. Oh, she already has a classy life. No, you do. <laughs> I'm just doing it. I'm using some Maybelline Fit Me concealer on my temples. Fat so sweaty. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. What's your major? <laughs> I'm a personal finance major. Personal finance? Uh huh. Why did I not know that actually? Because it's not what it sounds like. Like it sounds like really um, intense. And what does that entail? You know, I'm not quite sure. Because I haven't taken any like classes for my major. I was just taking prereqs all year. I'm gonna continue to stand on this stool and well, avoid- I'm wearing heels tonight. Okay, so then I go blender. over it with my beauty blender, but I make sure it's really dry. I don't know if everyone knows this, but the different colors represent like different absorption rates. Not like rates, but like powers, I guess. So black this is the- Yeah, black is the most. So it gets rid or, of the most, technically. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I think like Patrick Starr told me that when I was 10. <laughs> I actually just bought a new beauty blender, so I'm gonna start using it. But I like I like trained my old one. <laughs> I you trained your dragon. Like literally how like a pet. Like I made it perfect to me. So I don't want to start over. Now I'm using my Say bronzer. That's really gorge. Right. That? No, it's Say. Say what? Say <laughs> what? Your makeup looks good. Yeah, really good. Wow, this lighting is tragic. Yeah. I just stayed in my We'll well, I'm gonna put on mascara and we'll be back. Using the lash paradise. Get into it. I just gave Shira a compliment and um, you know, I don't know if we compliment each other that much, but I just said that she has really perfect eyes. <laughs> Have we ever hugged? Once. Maybe. Yeah, and I think we looked at each other and said why. Yeah. I think the first time I saw you when you got back, we like accidentally hugged because it like felt like like a societal <laughs> norm to like hug your friend that you haven't seen in like but then we quickly realized that that wasn't what our bodies wanted. Yeah. Yeah, we're not huggers. Sophia and I like spooned in Miami. That's nice. Sephora collection in rose. It's insane. It's like my shade. It is really pretty. No more compliments. This is weird though. I think I'm done. Okay, so we're done here. I will see you guys at the restaurant. 
We are in the Uber on the way to the restaurant. We're not in the Uber. We're about to be in the Uber. It's pulling liar, up. Liar. <laughs> liar. It's right there. That was actually the funniest thing ever. Here's our chip appetizer. Why am I so we just finished dinner. How good was it? It was good. It's one of my favorite restaurants. Can you squat down? <laughs> it was the best dinner ever, and now we're going out. Like, so what? Was, like, it was the best dinner ever. Like, what did you have? Like, okay. you're out. I was Hey vlog, good afternoon. It's currently 1 p.m. I'm with Aves and we have spent the whole weekend together. We went shopping yesterday, like all day long, and then we had sushi, which was so good. And now we are heading to the Wait, beach. Wait, why didn't we vlog yesterday? I think I vlogged a little. But we are heading to the beach right now. It's so nice out. It says it's 75 degrees, but I think it might be a little bit warmer than that, to be quite honest with you. So I will see you guys along. We'll be following you. 